Hello, I'm Carl Urban. I play Aima in the upcoming film Border Rings The Two Towers, shot on location in New Zealand. Tonight, the Travel Channel is going to show you why New Zealand is the perfect location for all the action, adventure, and drama of this epic tale. I'll be back throughout the night with some behind the scenes stories about the making of the two towers, but first, New Zealand Prime Minister Helen Clark is your personal guide for New Zealand, the Royal Tour. Hi, I'm Carl Urban from The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. And you're watching New Zealand, the Royal Tour on the Travel Channel. The cast and the crew really responded to all the uh, the outdoor activities, you know, the surfing, the skiing, the snowboarding, the bungee jumping. Orlando Bloom really, you know, threw himself into, you know, all aspects of the uh, adventure culture that exists in New Zealand. He went and uh, bungee jumped, uh, survived, thankfully. <laughs> Uh, I know the boys went surfing, uh, even managed to pull Vigo out surfing uh, one time uh, and he, he had an accident, he, the surfboard hit him in his eye and so he turned up to work the next day and he had this black eye so Pete could only shoot him from one side. I personally didn't feel the need to, to go and do all those adventuristic type activities, I felt that I was taking enough leap of faith just going to work every day. We Hi, I'm Carl Urban, stay tuned for more behind the scenes stories from Lord of the Rings The Two Towers right here on the Travel Channel. I'm going in to shoot uh, my very first shot and uh, you know there's like 500 guys dressed up in orc outfits and you know a couple of hundred guys on horseback and so I get on my horse and I'm all ready to do the first shot and I look over to the monitor where Peter Jackson is and as if I wasn't nervous enough Ian Callan and Liv Tyler had come over to watch my first shot but they were so lovely and, and so supportive and uh, they were like a family they've been shooting for so long already and they really went the extra distance to make me feel part of that family see more of New Zealand, my home country, shooting Lord of the Rings for eight months than I had living there my entire life. Ironically enough, I wasn't a tour guide for the international cast, they were a tour guide for me. I mean, they were showing me aspects about my country which I didn't even know existed. They really did uh, absorb New Zealand and New Zealand culture, and that's why I think that, you know, New Zealand is, is a special place in their hearts. Hi, I'm Carl Urban from The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and you're watching The Travel Channel. I think the appeal with shooting in Fiordland was its sort of prehistoric and, and mythical quality. It was a deep sound, amazing crystal clear water, mountainous hills that, that just sort of seem to go on forever. And the native forest is, is so untouched and so unlike any other place on the planet. I can see why Pete would choose that for a, a location for Lord of the Rings. New Zealand is the perfect place to shoot Lord of the Rings because it has every aspect and every geological uh, fixture that Tolkien has written about in his book right there in the country. New Zealand has a kind of a mythical resonance to it. It's, you know, green and lush and uh, uniquely untouched and I think that's what has made it very appealing for directors uh, you know, to come and shoot. Hi, I'm Carl Urban. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes stories from Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, right here on the Travel Channel. The Lord of the Rings was literally the biggest film production on the planet. They were employing, I think at their height, 2,000 people. It doesn't come bigger than that. And I have nothing but total admiration and respect for Peter Jackson for choosing to shoot this in his home country. And, uh, you know, he had a lot of uh, faith in New Zealand as a whole and the talent and expertise of the, the crew. And I sort of really feel like the morale of the country as a whole was really lifted. It was an amazing experience kind of a motto on the film. Uh, it was taped up on, on Viggo Mortensen's mirror, adapt and overcome. For a lot of the cast and the crew, that was a lived by motto. It was quite often we were shooting in some of the most arduous and trying circumstances. Uh, snow, rain, uh, 140 kilometer hour winds. And we were in, you know, really rough and rugged, isolated country, away from the sort of creature comforts that one's accustomed to. It didn't matter how difficult it got, if you were to ask someone, you know, well, would you rather be somewhere else, the answer would be no. Hi, I'm Carl Urban from The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes stories from our filming in New Zealand, right here on the Travel Channel. Why shoot in New Zealand? Why not? 
it's got everything. New Zealand's one of the most beautiful countries on the planet. It, it has every geographical fixture a producer or director could possibly want, from mountains to lakes uh, to deserts, uh, volcanoes, uh, beautiful beaches, fantastic crews, very skilled crews who are very good at uh, adapting and overcoming any circumstance or situation that may arise. Uh, I think that's what makes New Zealand uh, you know, a choice place to, to come and shoot. Hi, I'm Carl Urban from Lord of the Rings The Two Towers, which opens December the 18th. Stay with us for more behind-the-scenes stories from the making of the film and a special look at New Zealand, right here on the Travel Channel. Cherished memory of shooting the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy was uh, one weekend on all decided that what we'd actually do was camp out at this location because it was so remote. There was a beautiful lake there, we went fishing. You know, Vigo Mortensen was just literally the consummate uh, woodsman, so he built this fire pit and uh, uh, ended up, we ended up barbecuing some steaks and sitting around all evening, and that is probably my most cherished memory. One of the most amazing things about, you know, shooting Lord of the Rings was we were shooting it for such a long period of time and the cast and crew really bonded as a family. I mean, usually when you shoot a film, you shoot for three months, four months, but we shot this for 16 months and so consequently everybody became really tight and really close. It's going to be great to get together in the future to shoot uh, some more pickups for the third film next year and I think it's going to be the last chance that everybody has to sort of get together in the sort of, in New Zealand and uh, in Middle Earth.